Hi, I am Dr. J. Hitson with Blue Umbrella Medical Center in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and I decided to go ahead and talk to you all about IV therapy since at this moment I am actually getting my own IV therapy. You can see what's happening here. I'm, I'm all hooked up. One of the things, one of the reasons we brought IV therapy um, into this practice is because of really how, how it's impacted me. So the basics of IV therapy, what we're doing is we are loading somebody up with a ton of nutrients um, and it's going straight into the vein. So bypassing the gut, bypass, bypassing the digestive system. Um, one of the reasons we do this is because there are limited number of receptors in the digestive system. So you can't guarantee that even if you take a lot of supplementation, um, if there's only so many receptors, then basically you're just making really expensive urine if you are taking too many supplements, um, where if somebody needs a massive boost of supplementation, like like I, I do, um, you know, IV therapy is a way to bypass that system. Let me also say this. Here's the reason why I am a huge fan is, okay, I live an intense life. Um, I am well north of 40 years old. I, you know, run a huge uh, practice here. I have a lot of other things. I, you know, I run marathons. We're in the process of building a house. We have a lot going on. And I mean, let's be straight. You know, sometimes I'm not always able to stop and really eat the way I should. Um, just the intensity of my life. It re the intensity of my life requires a lot of resources. It requires a lot of nutrients and minerals. Your brain uses up a ton of resources, nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and all that. Just processing, you know, stress and all of that. Now, you know, my life's pretty awesome. Um, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm stressed, but just the sheer raw volume of decisions that you have to make in a day. I mean, it's it's just crazy. And so in my case, I load up every you know few weeks, um, especially right now, we happen to be in this weird cold and flu season. And um, all these people around me um, are getting sick and, you know, they're just loading up. I also have a conference this weekend. So, you know, just, uh, it's, it's just an investment um, and a proactive, uh, pro proactive maneuver, keeping me healthy. So uh, I use a lot of different things. Also, I, because I work out, because I run, because I'm a marathoner, um, we, we buff, buffer me with a lot of glutamines and, um, a lot of B complexes, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of the brain chain amino acids, all of that. Um, we use all of those things again, just for energy resources, all of that. Um, not everybody gets the same results I do, but I, one of the, here's a couple of the things that I have figured out. Number one is I have a bad digestive system, tore it up years ago. So be it. Um, you know, if you have a bad digestive system, this is not a, it's not going to be, it's not a surprise to you. You don't have to get a test to know you have a bad digestive system. It's obvious. So I know that I don't absorb very well because I have a bad digestive system. So this is just bypassing that. And since I've started doing this and started getting these regular IVs, it's healing my gut from the inside out. Um, so, and I, I found that people who do have bad guts and bad digestive systems, sometimes trying to solve gut problems with the gut, using the gut, is, is, is not quite as efficient. Um, so this has just been a really great bypass. So love it. Um, I can tell when it's been too long. Um, I'm not, see, you have to understand nutraceuticals and nutrition and all of that. You're never going to get an artificial high from anything that is natural. Um, only drugs and pharmaceuticals and, you know, those kind of things will give you like a, a high. Um, what, these kind of things do is all of a sudden you just know you feel really good. Like, and you don't, it's not a high, it's not, it's just all, it's just one of those awarenesses that comes out of you. Like, wow, okay, it's, you know, eight o'clock and I'm still going, I've still got another gear. Um, you know, uh, and I have to say, I do start getting wor worn down whenever I know it's time, whenever, you know, I'm getting to the end of the day, I'm like, whew, it's, it's been a long day. Um, 
I just don't have that when when I'm getting properly fueled, and this is a big one for me. So we do use a lot, like I said, for those people who just need that extra fuel, I think we're probably the ones who get the most out of it. Um, the, a lot of women who are going through menopause um, have really loved these IV bags. We've been able to do a lot with them um, because one of the reasons that they're having menopausal symptoms is because they're just so, they're so deficient. They've been, you know, calorie restriction diets for the better part of decades and, you know, binge, um, <laughs> binge carbing for a long time. So this has just been a great way to refuel there as well. Um, we know there's a lot of IV places. We have nothing, you know, I think it's all good. I think it's all going in the right direction. We personally only, we create these, these bags based on your labs. That's just the way we're going to do it. Um, I have nothing against these once I spits all bags. I'm sure, I mean, it's it's good stuff no matter what. We just like to be more custom based. Like, so what are you deficient in? What do you need? And we don't like to put a bunch of stuff that you don't need in. We come with, like a lot of people have been overdosing themselves, um, you know, with some of these B12s and all of that because they think they're fatigued because they don't have enough B vitamins. And frankly, we don't want to put more B vitamins if you're already overdosing. That's not really a good idea. So you really should have your labs done and you should really be tested to know what is right for you. Um, and it, again, it, I would say, especially for those people who really need a fast recovery, they need to get back. This is a, just a great, great way to do it. Um, for somebody like me sitting here, it takes about anywhere from 30, 45, sometimes in an hour to uh, to get a full drip going. As you can see, mine's going a little slow today. I have a hard time sitting for an hour uh, doing this, so that's why I end up multitasking these kind of things with uh, videos and messages out to you all. So anyway, that's just a little bit of my heart and where I'm at uh, with IV therapy. If you think it's something that you are interested in, do your research, look at it. Um, we run the labs, see if you need it, see if it's gonna be something that helps you. I'm Dr. Jay Hitson with Blue Umbrella Medical Center.